to be able to have more performance in my life, whether it's getting up and off the floor, maybe going snow skiing with my grandkids, whatever it is. Or don't, you know, you know, a lot of people are having their knees and hips replaced, and sometimes that's wear and tear from certain things, but a lot of times it, it's the, again, the symptom of carrying all this excess weight from being so comfortable that now, now you're uncomfortable, and now we're going to go change that knee out. Well, I, and I, had a, I, I was having lunch with an orthopedic surgeon in our town, I said, so tell me a little bit about your surgeries on overweight men. He goes, I don't do a whole lot of knee and hip replacements on overweight men because they don't live that long. He goes, very rarely do I do a 75, 80-year-old hip replacement, knee replacement if they're very large people because they're not, they're not living. So, again, back to performance and health and all the stuff that comes with it. We know if we're more of our natural body weight, per se, we have a lot less stress on – the joints, the heart, the, the blood pressure. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Stroke, dementia. We know that Alzheimer's and all the brain issues are directly related to you know, high levels of obesity. It really begins with that self-awareness. Where you are today? What, what do you want? How do we do this? What's the process? And really understand hormones. You